Everyone's excited. Uh, Billy West, voiceover actor. Uh, he is uh, the voice of uh, pretty much a, a ton of stuff. You say voiceover actor like he's just a voiceover actor. He's he the is the voiceover. voiceover actor. He is the guy. Pardon me. Excuse me. Hey, <laughs> hey, Billy, good morning. I've, I've already been corrected. Oh, that's so nice of you. <laughs> Dude. Gosh. Um, I don't know. Well, it, I I know that you're, um, the armed forces are listening to you, so... I want to say hello, and and I hail you. I hail you. <laughs> I I don't know who's Honestly, more I, men I, and women. Yeah, we we love the fact that we get to be on uh, AFN. It is uh, the coolest thing. The fact that we get to talk with people uh, in Djibouti or in uh, on a ship out in the middle of the ocean, whatever ocean it may be, or the space station or Antarctica. Okay, it's cool. Yeah. Uh, so, Billy, <laughs> well, I, what I, are you? I'd like, to, I'd like to take the opportunity to say hello to Sweden. All right. Well, yes. Hi, Sweden. Hi, Sweden. Uh, I like I like your massages. Billy's on uh, talking about uh, Futurama. It's uh, airing on Hulu. Is uh, you've yes, done pretty much it. every voice on. It seems like you've got how many different voices are you doing on the show? Like five. Greetings from the year three thousand. It still sucks. <laughs> you need an autograph? Why not Zoidberg? Why not Zoidberg could sign things for a sandwich. <laughs> I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Give inform the men. I made it with a woman. <laughs> I get like I love Zap so much. I love Zap Ran again. He's like, Futurama is the best show. <laughs> Seriously. And Big D doesn't watch it. I'm like, really? We found something out today that, that kind of was shocking. And I'm like, dude, you got to go back to the beginning. Yeah. I mean, the Fry saga is great. Well, um, I remember auditioning for all these characters um, in 1999 and there was, you know, Matt, it's Matt Groening. It's only Matt Groening, and he's showing me pictures of the characters, and I'm like, oh, no pressure. And uh, and so, you know, they um, showed me a picture of the professor, and he was 147 years old, and I said to myself, he must fart dust like a mummy, <laughs> you know? And it was a combination of all doddering wizards and uh, mad scientists and old magicians and, you know, Wizard of Oz kind of thing. And, uh, you know, and I, and I put my heart and soul into every one of these characters, and I would consider myself really, really lucky to be able to express myself that way. You not only being uh, the voice of all the Futurama stuff, but like Ren and Stimpy, the Red M M&M, and M. Which, by the way, the Red M M&M and M is my favorite. I, that's is, is when it just comes down to voices. I like the Red M M&M, and M. I like your voice the best. Have you ever eaten me? <laughs> <laughs> so, do people? Hey, do, you know what? It's one thing. It's one thing to know that I do the red M M&M, and M, but do you know who does the yellow M M&M? and M? No. J K Simmons. Really? The the yeah, was, like the serious Jones actor Simmons with the glasses, movie. like Drumline. Yeah. Yes, he won an Oscar for Whiplash, and then he's in the studio with me two days later doing M and M. The Notre Dame Cathedral Fire. Seen it? <laughs> <laughs> you're you're so you're you're not only are you uh, do you do quirky characters you're a character billy you're like oh, it, yeah. <laughs> people tell you that like you're like wow he's like full tilt well you know what though <clears throat> it's it's like that's why you're doing what you're doing that's why you're doing radio and stuff is there is so much misery and every which way you turn there's tears and and tragedy and the fact that you get up in the morning and you go and you do stuff and try to make people laugh, that's, to me, that's almost as noble as saving lives or being a frontline worker. You know, you heal people. And, and so that's why I do what I do is, is I can't get my mind around some of the stuff. It's so horrible. So I, I look for ways to be silly, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean... You know, you you know what I'm talking about. It's like so hard to do comedy in the face of so much tragedy. And, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, and it's I also thought, people are. Uh, p- p- it's hard to do comedy when you get people who are so offended all the time, and you can't do this, you can't do that. Oh, I know. And I know. know. I'm going to be like, you ever see Omega Man? Mm-mm. No. With um, with what's what's his name? Uh, oh, Wesley Snipes. Uh, yeah, there's an old. Who? Wesley Snipes. <laughs> I'm the wrong one to ask. No, no, no. You guys are too young. I, I, I don't know why I 
I don't know why I brought that up. Because there was an old man on it, and he's trying to explain to a guy what the past was like, you know, before the nuclear age. And he said, you know, people had a sense of humor. I'm just making this part up, by the way. Okay. People had a sense of humor back then, not only about things in the world, but about themselves, too. It was a beautiful time. And then something tragic happened called, I'm offended. And their minds were sealed shut. Forever. Yes. That's right, man. Absolutely. When we all became yeah. very self aware and very everything's about me and whatever, it it just everything got crazy. And everybody's calling everybody a narcissist. Well, you know what? If you're if you're really concerned about somebody being a narcissist, stop, look at yourself and go, you know what? Am I being narcissistic? We all are guilty well, of it. You know. So we just have to stop caring no, like, and just smile a little bit. Yeah, no, that's that's too hard to do. You know, everybody's got to be hypercritical and everybody's got to be, you know, uh, spectrum analytical. And I, I don't know, man, try to make a joke on the end, try to make a joke on Twitter. You know, I mean, I made a joke about um, Rush Limbaugh and I said, you know, a lot of people don't know that he invented high def radio. He was both high and deaf. <laughs> and so um, and so all of a sudden I get some angry 20-year-old girl, you know. I like you. I I really did. You could tell how wan tight she was. How'd you get so messed up in 20 years? Um, I used to like you. And, and now I don't like you because you're making fun of deaf people. And some other guy pops in and said, He's not making fun of deaf people. He's making fun of Rush Limbaugh, who made fun of everybody, including Michael J. Fox. Mm -hmm. You know, and when you shut these people down, they're so sensitive and so offended. But, but watch your watch. Watch the sweep hand. And in two seconds, they, they let fly this swear words and, and cussing and, and every dirty thing they can think of at you. It's like, oh, so noble. Yeah, as soon as they start cussing, you know... You know that you've won when they start cussing. Oh, I know. Well, I do have to tell you, Billy, that I have been wrecked, though, for years over Jurassic Bark. Like, you know, that is all, all the fun and games oh, and I smiles know. aside. That is I skip on my rewatch. And I'm not holding you personally accountable for my trauma. But um... why, not? why not? I'm going to take my pants down and you can spank my rosy red rear end. <laughs> That's a very Ren and Stimpy visual. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> can, we, yes. can we get a little Ren and Stimpy? Happy, happy, joy, joy. Hey, man, you invite me. You shut up your face. <laughs> that's so great uh, well make sure you check out uh, futurama it is airing on hulu now that is the one and only the legendary uh billy west billy uh -oh. so great talking to you congratulations on uh on futurama and again it's on hulu check it out thank you brother i i appreciate it so much really i'm sure we'll chat again and keep making everybody happy Absolutely. thanks you, you too. too me too man thank you brother okay bye-bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Well, because over the years, uh, teenage kids have told you to like and subscribe, we don't have to say that anymore. You know what to do.